Hello then, welcome to James Hennon on YouTube. Today I wanted to make a quick video just talking about um, negative or difficult cards in readings and how to best sort of handle them and deal with them when they crop up, whether you're reading for um, a friend or a client or even yourself. Now, as we know, some of the cards are quite nasty, um, not particularly that pleasant. For instance, if we would, as an example, if we were to get the Five of Cups in a spread, I don't think anybody really wants to see that in a spread. But I've learned over the years that when you stop taking cards like this literally, and you start looking at what positives you can take out of the card to give to a friend or a client or yourself, then it's not so bad after all. Um, because especially when, if you get a card like this in the future, or as an outcome, the client may be perplexed if you start talking about loss and disappointment and regret and, and everything looking particularly not very good emotionally. I don't think that's the best way forward. I always try to put a positive spin on every reading I do, even if it is a difficult spread and there are a lot of difficult cards, like fives, which symbolise change. So, for instance, if it was the Five of Cups, instead of focusing on what that person might be feeling regretful over or feeling at a loss over or can't move on from, I would change that and put a spin on it and say, yeah, this is now a good time to make some important changes, especially emotionally. There are still things within your life, as we can see in this card, there's two cups upright. So there's still something to focus on. And this is going to be a good time in the near future for you to start focusing on things around you and making some good changes and adjusting a situation where you need to, especially emotionally, because you're going to be able to see that a situation might be a little bit unstable, but now's the time to make changes to make it stable again um, and move away from instability into stability. Um, and you could do that with a lot of cards, especially the death card, which of course means endings and changes and transformations but again you can talk about it as a chance to make some favorable changes go through a transformation um with the devil you could say that perhaps you're feeling a little restricted at the moment but now you're being challenged to really look at the situation with real truth and not to let your inner fears or restrictions stop you from moving forward you'd be challenged to look at the situation to find better solutions and to actually find the truth and see where you're holding yourself back and restricting yourself and I think that, that the whole point is is to give the client or whoever you're reading for a sense of what they can do when they leave the reading when they leave the reading they can think right if I do this I can do this then because not all readings are going to be sunshine and, and flowers. Some readings are going to be difficult and you're going to be challenged and you're going to be frightened. But the most important thing is not to panic if you get a lot of negative cards in a reading because this person you're reading for might have a lot of issues and problems to deal with that, that probably are going to be beyond the capabilities of a tarot reader. They might be things that need to be worked out through an advisor a counsellor or therapist or something so you're not there to try and fix people's problems either but you are there to give them some hope and some inspiration and I think if you work along those lines and you you put a positive spin on a card then you can make a big difference to the person that you're reading for and they can come away from the reading having some idea of what they want to do um, because a lot of people don't like the idea of change and they don't like the, the idea of being trapped or restricted or upset or having worries but if you can make it positive and give them some ideas of what they need to work on to um, to improve the situation then that's that's good all fair and well and another little tip also is if you do get a if you do get a five in an outcome position you can always um, put another card for them to say what happens when they've made these changes so that can give them an idea and give them some inspiration for the next step. So for instance, if they got um, you know, an ace following that, you could see that a positive change leads to a clear path, a new opportunity coming up, especially in practical financial matters that's gonna be better. You're not gonna be cluttered, or cluttered up where you are. You're gonna better see a smooth transition forward 
and things are going to get better. New ideas and new approaches are going to work well for you. You could work like that. But it, it's just generally a case of um, being as, as sort of upbeat and positive as you can and not really talking about a negative card in a literal sense because obviously that's not going to help a client or your, or your friend or yourself. So give yourself a bit of credit as well because obviously um, it takes time to really find where you're going with things. So don't, obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. So anyway, that's, that's just a very quick video about that. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, um, I welcome your comments in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd like you, please do so if you enjoy the videos. Thank you. Until next time, bye-bye.